Most definitely, and let me convey Happy New Year greetings to your team and to all listeners. Definitely for these reasons and more. I must place on record that all of us as Christians would love to see an iconic building that uh, beautifies our landscape and glorifies God. However, we will wish that it is done at the right time. It is done when um, we feel the time is right. That is why I agree with the Catholic Bishop Conference. The Catholic Bishop Conference issued a statement sometime last year, June last year, saying that they do not think that this is the time. I agree with them. I also agree with the Christian Council of Ghana, who also issued a statement uh, last year saying that the timing is most horrible. I agree with these eminent Christian organizations. The other part of why I am passionate and committed to these exposés is because the more documentation I secure or intercept or come by, the more I am convinced that what is happening there is not just the construction of a cathedral, but we are seeing, based on evidence, a lot of conflict of interest, a lot of diversions, a lot of blatant corruption, no regard for procurement laws, and other laws that are being flagrantly violated. And then also, a reckless model that was adopted, a model which is the most expensive, the most costly, where buildings are demolished. And as we speak, those demolished properties. It has created a whole new scandal on its own. You have the owners of the properties who government has not been able to compensate. Now up in arms. As I speak to you, Waterstone Realty Company Limited, the owners of luxury apartment buildings that were demolished. Hmm. They are now at the high court seeking a judgment debt of 120 million Ghana cities. The, the compensation for COMSIS is not completed. The compensation for the Malian ambassador's residence, the Malian ambassador's residence was demolished. Mm. The agreement with the Malian government is that we will get them a new land and a new ambassador's residence. I've been following up on that. The Malians are waiting. They're running out of patience. And that doesn't, now, that doesn't speak well for our relations with Mali, at then? At all. At all, it doesn't. They have only now money to secure a bare land for the Malians at airport residential area. But that's not what they deserve. And then you have the 